Hundreds gathered at the Boston Common on Friday for a peaceful, bipartisan demonstration following the election of President-elect Donald Trump. I feel like my identity is being dragged through the mud by this candidate, President-elect. Um, and I, I can't be represented by a president who doesn't see me. Trans rights are human rights! So I'm here, and I'm trying to make a difference. Demonstrators sought to do away with division and replace it instead with love. For those upset, camaraderie. For those pleased, respect. For those in fear, one man offered his body as a canvas. This, I mean, really, like, look around, you know, like, this many people care. Like, um, to change the minds of, of people, a nation united will never be divided. And, um, and that's what we're about. Uh, we're one, and, and we need to be one, especially right now. Organizers of the gathering did come from both sides of the aisle, but with Clinton supporters making up a majority of the crowd, the environment was more cathartic for one side than politically productive for both. Everybody's here for unification, but objecting to the, the democratically elected president is not unifying. It's, it's the spread of disunity. Boston University mass communications professor John Carroll says it's more than disunity. It's hypocrisy. They have every right to protest. And I think they have good reason to protest in a lot of cases. But the way they're doing it is really adopting a tactic that they thought was wrong for Donald Trump to take. And now, but they're, they're adopting it for themselves. And the rest of it is all fine, it's all legitimate, it's all the American way. For BUTV 10, I'm Christina Galato.